Okay everyone, uh, welcome back to your third Python and MySQL tutorial. We're just going to be building off the last tutorial where we're going to be inserting data to our newly created table. Um, so let me just minimize this real quick. And maximize this. So the first thing we need to do is again establish our connection. For that we can just copy and paste here in our comment. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is to actually um, create our insert statement. Um, so I'm just going to copy this try and finally loop. Nothing too crazy going on over here. Um, and I'm just going to uncomment this. Control 1, an anaconda. So, what I'm going to do is say insert into, and then ask data. That was our previously created table. I'm just going to delete this real quick. And OK. Um, and we want to say, uh, we want to put these in these fancy quotes right here. Uh, and we want to say we want to insert into date. We want to insert into um, open high low close. In volume, I'm just going to comment this out for one second and make sure the module is functioning properly. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, now we want to say after that values in all caps. So this, these are the specific values are going to be inserting. So we need placeholders for these because uh, again our SQL query strings have to be structured as a string um, so yeah these are just going to be placeholders temporarily that we're going to use so percent s percent s percent s percent s percent s and percent s okay awesome um, now we're going to execute our SQL query by doing what we're going to be inserting um, our date in here so we're just going to make a variable my date we'll come back to that in a sec uh, we're not going to structure that in any specific way we're going to do my date um, let's do let's say uh, I don't know open or let's say no 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 I'm sorry so let's do a float 10.10 .10 as our open and let's do a float 10. Point uh, let's say 45 as our high and then let's do a float 10 point mm, I don't know for our low we can just do 10.08 and then for a float we can do for a close I don't know 10.30 and then for the volume we can use an int and that'll be let's say 250,000 okay um, let's just make our date object so I'll import date time really quick and so the way we're going to do that is import date time as dt cool and then let's just make a date so my date equals let's say dt dot date time 2000 comma 1 comma 1 okay that should be everything and let's do um, actually that should be just oh no you know what we have to do um, we have to commit because we have to save changes to our database that we're inserting um, to the specific table so connection dot commit okay and let's see if this runs awesome so ran no problem let's go to our PHP my admin window and let's go back into our tutorial database and let's refresh this. And let's go into S data. Okay, cool. Um, so I actually previously tried to insert something in there before, so just ignore that. So this is the stuff that we literally just inserted and appended at the end. The date got truncated because I thought it was an epoch timestamp or Unix timestamp, or it's trying to be formatted as one. So um, that actually. Uh, needs to be reformatted as a different data type in our database. Um, 
Yeah, because we're, we're expressing it as an int um, or using a different date uh, format. So, yeah, um, that should be just about it. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to go over actually um, querying data from our database. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, learned something real quick, and have a good day. Bye.